Philippians chapter 3. For the rest, my brothers, rejoice in Yah. To write the same matters to you is truly no trouble to me. And for you, it is safe. Look out for dogs. Look out for the evil workers. Look out for the mutilation. For we are the circumcision who are serving Yah in the spirit and boasting in Messiah Yahusha, and do not trust in the flesh, though I too might have trust in the flesh. If anyone else thinks to trust in the flesh, I more circumcised the eighth day of the race of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, according to Torah, a Pharisee. According to ardor, persecuting the assembly, according to righteousness that is in the law, having become blameless. But what might have been a gain to me, I have counted as loss because of Messiah. What is more, I even count all to be loss because of the excellence of the knowledge of Messiah Yahusha, my master, for whom I suffered the loss of all and count them as refused in order to gain Messiah and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through belief in Messiah, the righteousness which is from Yah on the basis of belief, to know him in the power of his resurrection, in the fellowship of his sufferings, being conformed to his death. If somehow I might attain to the resurrection from the dead, not that I have already received or already been perfected, but I press on you to lay hold of that, which Messiah Yahusha has also laid hold of me. Brothers, I do not count myself to have laid hold of it yet, but only this, forgetting what is behind and reaching out for what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the high calling of Yah and Messiah Yahusha. As many then as are perfect should have this in mind. And if you think differently in any respect, Yah shall also reveal this to you. But to what we have already attained, walk by the same rule, be of the same mind. Become joint imitators of me, brothers, and look at those who so walk as you have us for a pattern. For many of whom I have often told you and now say to you, even weeping, walk as enemies of the sake of Messiah. Their end is destruction. Their mighty one is their stomach, and their esteem is in their shame. They mind the earthly, for our citizenship is in the heavens, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Master Yahushua Messiah, who shall change their lowly body to be conformed to his esteemed body, according to the working by which he is able even to bring all under his control.